Hey guys, it's Jules. Today we are going to be making these awesome little toilet paper roll holders or tissue holders, whatever you'd like to use them for. Either way, they take care of that eyesore that we all have in the house, the extra roll of toilet paper or that cardboard box of tissues that just kind of sits on top of the toilet and doesn't really do anything for the space. Well, these are a super cost-effective, simple way to make a beautiful piece out of something that usually gets a little bit overlooked in the house. You will need a mason jar, scissors, a sharp knife, foam brushes, chalk and acrylic paint, chipboard or cardboard, a hot glue gun, toilet paper roll, masking tape, mod podge, and ribbon. Start by removing the circular center from your mason jar's lid. Trace its outline onto your chipboard or cardboard, then cut it out with your scissors. Next, you will mark an X or a cross in the center of your chipboard and cut it out with your sharp knife. You will then take your acrylic paint of choice and using your foam brush painted onto the lid, set it aside. Now take your masking tape and roll it onto any part of your mason jar which you do not want painted. At this point, I took my chalkboard paint and using two coats with a foam brush, painted only the bottom half of my mason jar. Allow it to dry. Once it's dry, I took a titanium white acrylic paint and using a stippling motion, applied it to the top half of my mason jar. Once it's dry, set it in with a layer of Mod Podge. I'm demonstrating this step on a different dispenser, but you get the idea. Once your Mod Podge is dry, remove your tape. Don't worry about being perfect because you are going to cover up the imperfections with your ribbon. So cut the ribbon to size, then use your hot glue gun to line the jar wherever you want to apply the ribbon. Press it into place. Then with clean hands, grab your roll of toilet paper and fold it like so in order for the dispenser to work properly. You must go in a back and forth motion like this and leave the end free. Please note if you simply roll the toilet paper, it will break and it will not work properly. Once you've reached the desired amount, you can put your toilet paper into the jar, pushing the free end through the slit in the lid. And easy as that, you have your very own homemade, customized tissue or toilet paper dispenser. I have these all over my house, from the bathroom to the bedroom to the living room. I hope you'll love having them in your home too. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This DIY was one of my favorites that I've done on this channel. I love how they work. I love how they look in my house. I also love how cheap and easy they were to make. Let me know down in the comments if you decide to make this craft. Let me know how you like it, how you decided to decorate it. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you can go down there and do so right now. I make new videos every Saturday, new vlogs every Wednesday. See you guys next time. Bye.